go out here and I'm not doing nothing. What most sides gonna do is gonna do all the work, man. All right. Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly, greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Okay? Man, that's 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 the Lord. Oh man, this is the Bible speaking. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. They shall do in Edom according to my anger, according to my fury. They shall know my vengeance, said the Lord God, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Now peep this. According to reasons black people were lynched, according to the Equal Justice Initiative's report of reported lynchings. John Stoner was lynched in Doss, Louisiana in 1909 for suing the white man who killed his cow. Frank Dodd was lynched in DeWitt, Arkansas in 1916 for annoying a white woman. Ernest Green and Charlie Lang, both 14, were lynched in Shibuta, Mississippi in 1942 after a white girl said they were threatening. Oliver Moore was lynched in Edgecombe County, North Carolina in 1930 for frightening a white girl. Henry Patterson was lynched in LaBelle, Florida in 1926 for asking a white woman for a drink of water. Elizabeth Lawrence was lynched in Birmingham, Alabama in 1933 for reprimanding white children who threw rocks at her. Jesse Thornton was lynched in Laverne, Alabama in 1940 for addressing a white police officer without the title Mr. A black construction worker was lynched at Camp Blanding, Florida in 1941 for insisting that a white co-worker return his shove. Reasons black people were lynched. See that, man? And these things have continued throughout the ages. Especially